All right, so let's talk a little bit about the numeric keypad. All right, so what I figured I'd show you guys today is a detail of the numeric keypad that I feel like is kind of a holdover from like old school audio world. So like analog and tape and stuff. It's kind of, I think of the same way I think of the scrubber as being a holdover from back in the old days. Um, but it is, it can be a useful feature and you know, everyone has their own workflow. So uh, maybe someone out there will find this helpful. All right, so what I wanted to show you guys is when you're on the numeric keypad, and just in case anyone out there doesn't know what the numeric keypad is, I'll show you really quick. So this part of the keypad is the numeric keypad. Oh, let me get it so you can see here, but um, this part of the keyboard is the numeric keypad. So that whole chunk there. Um, so a lot of times our keyboards, you know, they come with just this main part here. So yeah, that's the numeric keypad if you're not familiar. Um, if you don't have a keyboard with a numeric keypad on it, you might've noticed in Pro Tools, there are certain features that um, it's much easier to do with a numeric keypad and you actually specifically need to use the numeric keypad instead of like the regular numbers, for example, on the keyboard. Um, my students make that mistake all the time. You know, I'll be like, you can hit three to record and they'll be like, I hit three. And I'm like, did you hit it on the numeric keypad? And they're like, no. I'm like, well, it is different. It recognizes it as a different, a different uh, key, you know? it is a different key. So um, you might have noticed that it's really hard to find workarounds for some of the functions using the numeric keypad. So for that reason, you know, if you are really getting into using Pro Tools and, you know, for whatever you're doing, music production, film, whatever it is, I would recommend getting a keyboard with a numeric keypad. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys is basically the fast forward and rewind functions on the numeric keypad. So that's using the one and the two keys on that numeric keypad. So uh, rewind is one and then uh, fast forward is going to be the two on the keyboard. So I'll show you if you want to look at my cursors right over here. Hopefully you can see it blink in there. Um, so I'm going to hit one to rewind. And each time I hit it, you see that it goes back a bit. And then I can hit two to fast forward. So you can kind of jump around your session that way. Some people find that useful or helpful. I don't think it's the most commonly used function in Pro Tools, but uh, you know, everyone's different. So one and two, fast forward, rewind. And another thing is if you go to setup and then preferences, there are some details on the operation tab here that you can control um, that involve this feature. So for example, you can click so that audio plays during your fast forward and rewind and you can click so that it latches your fast forward and rewind, which I'll show you here in a second. So you noticed a second ago when I did not have this active, what it would do is it would jump by a certain amount and you'll see when it is active, what happens is it just kind of goes for it. So if I put my cursor over here and I hit one, it's just gonna play backwards. If I hit two, it's gonna start going forwards. So it's latching it, it's basically making it as if you're continuing to press it, right? It's, it's making it um, play smoother and act as if you're continuing to want it to go forward. So um, that's one of the details that you can change. Oops, my hair is going crazy. I didn't wash my hair today, so that's fun. So another thing you can do is you can have it so that it plays audio during your fast forward and rewind. Basically, I'll show you with it in the normal mode how it works here. I don't use this feature a ton either, so, you know, not necessarily an expert on this fast forward rewind feature. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and then I'm gonna hit fast forward and you'll hear how it continues to like jump and play. So, I don't find that super useful. It might be something about my computer too. Maybe someone who understands these features better than I could chime in on the comments below and we could all learn together. Uh, but basically that's the idea. You have that rewind and fast forward button and you can use those to jump around your session. You can have it latch so that it plays backwards or forwards um, to arrive at a certain location. It's, um, I don't know, it's not, it's not something that I use a ton, but it's there if you're interested in using it for your workflow. And just to contrast what I showed earlier, I will uncheck these and then play it so you can see how it doesn't continue to play here. So see it stopped playback as soon as I started hitting the fast forward button, so the two, right? So um, there's a few different ways you can configure this, uh, different ways you can use this to your advantage. 
I think the way that I have used it the most, which isn't a ton, to be honest, is in this mode where it's not latching and you're just using it to jump around in the session. So that would be my preference for the preferences, but um, you know, it's all up to you. So I hope someone out there found this useful, found this helpful. Please, you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would really love that. And other than that, I have my Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. My patrons get access to additional content. I have a Discord now for my Patreon patrons, and we chat on there. Um, stuff like that. So other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. Okay. Yeah, so... I didn't wash my hair today. I didn't brush my hair. Actually, I brushed my hair. No, didn't brush my hair. So um, that's what's going on here. This is just a mess, but um, I don't know. I just got off a week of being in the van, so I'm not really feeling like I need to shower that much or wash my hair that much, and it's pretty gross, and that's okay. That's how it is now. That's it's just a hot mess. I haven't gotten a haircut in like over a year and my hair is just like, it's becoming a nest of sorts. So I've just, I don't know, leaned into it. I, I don't know. It's kind of gross. I'm a gross person. Ooh, cool. Gross people. Fun. Uh, cool.